Hi, good morning, guys. This is SK. I hope you all did very well yes last week and uh, ending up in green. Uh, so we are in the second week of the month, you know, like, and uh, this is very important day of the month, um, uh, Monday. You know, mostly on a second week of a month, I look at the daily support. So remember, for second, it's it's all about how uh, I trade and how I prepare my day or my week. Uh, so right now, I have prepared my week. Like you know, let me show you here. We're in a daily chart, daily chart, and from a daily chart, I have the support every low. Uh, of the previous day you know like and this is the trend line which I'm looking at you know right now if we open and we break this trend line we open below this trend line let me just do this if we open below this trend line and we take our support which is 1983 then we have two targets below which is 1974 and 1966 you know 1956 is the open uh, 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 is the high of the first day this guy here you know like or you can say the middle of this candle you know like the breakout candle so we can can we test this I mean like there are two targets you know there is one this blue line which is still we haven't tested you know and there is the other one is this uh, 956 either we can test this we have targets below we can go uh, uh, in a trading in a uh, trading range here and test this what what happened here you know can you look at here this candle which is which was uh, our friday trading you know we poke through this trend line this is a breakout fail you know we are breakout fail and we are back in the same channel you know but maybe sometimes uh, uh, this is the first attempt sometimes what happened is you know like once we uh, try for the breakout we fail the next the next time we're gonna take this away and we're gonna go for the next uh, next target you know right now i do the the trading range target is 208 and 1983 there are chances that you know like like we poke through 1983 today and you know like we go for a trading range here let me just I mean, if we look at, I mean, if we look at this uh, uh, chart here, you know, like right now, the the uh, two very difficult resistances which are coming is 2008 and 217, which is here, you know, we failed at 2008, you know, which was our breakout point, and right now, uh, I think, you know, like there, the pullback is due, you know, we can get a pullback. Will I be shorting this pullback? You know, I will. I will short. I will uh, uh, short this pullback, not to uh, swing trade, but definitely to scalp. You know, like a, a couple of points here and there. You know, for overall bigger picture, we are long. You know, we can test uh, this this thing here. Let me do the monthly here. I mean, this thing here. That, I mean this green line here you know like we uh, we will be testing this and you know like we can see we can see a deeper pullback after testing this you know breaking this needs a lot of a, a lot a lot of uh, uh, buying here which I do not think you know like we can break through this and trade or uh, above all-time high as of now you know there is one more trend line which is which is not as useful as of now but I, I'm gonna share with you guys and then we're gonna take this line out I mean this trend line you know like once we're gonna start getting the pullback this trend line gonna have a lot of meaning you know like we're gonna look at this purple trend line and we're gonna look at this black trend line at that time you know but as of now let's not focus let's not let's not have too many trend lines and and try to get confused this will be coming soon so what I'm trying to sh uh, say here is you know like I there are many trend lines you know I look at the bigger picture most of the time so you know like trend lines are our most important supports and resistances we do not need any moving averages we do not need any indicators we do not need the crossover indicators or anything like that you know we just need our trend lines and see how the price action uh, uh, a price action reacts or acts over there during that during that range let's look at the 15 minute here 
you know in a 15 minute if you see you know like these are the targets below which we have and there it, it look it, it looks like you know like we can take a nine one uh, 1983 today and we can see 174 and then go for our next leg you know like up or see uh, some kind of a trading range a bigger bigger uh, trading range price action is 208 and 1983 what what can happen here is we can look at a little bit of a price section which is a trading range price section here and we can we can we can poke through uh, 1983 and we can poke through our this blue line some sometime soon and then go for the next leg up as of now I think we are looking at the pullback uh, let me get the hourly I mean if you see the hourly chart you know like we are making head and shoulder here you know like uh, inside this range and there are chances that you know we have poked through this we failed very bad it's a heavy profit taking uh, right now uh, at the open you know like there will be more uh, 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 you know like more uh, uh, what do you call the bear bear traders you know like the short traders which will be shorting the market thinking that you know we are near the high of the range high of the trend line whatever you know and looking for the, there are targets which are which are which we have not seen from a long time you know which are which are overdue so you know like we can see those this blue line here you know like uh, which is a target which can take us to 1966 or something like that so uh, in a bigger picture on a pullback mode uh, 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 possibly people will be shorting I will not short. I'll short for the scalp. Uh, I'm looking for any reason to buy and go for the next leg up as of now. But we do have targets below, and and uh, let's go to the monthly. I mean, over here, if you see, if you look at, you know, like this was a uh, push one, this is push two, which is going down, you know, we will be looking at the third one and then gonna go for the uh, leg up, you know possibilities are that right now we are we can see one or two more uh, 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 bull days and you know then the pullback will get uh, the, I'll, I'll short this market more closer we go if we took uh, an, uh, this guy here which is 2035 you know uh, uh, I'll start buying my put calls uh, uh, put uh, 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 positions, you know, like, and then uh, start shorting the market over here, you know, because we're gonna be at the high, and then I'm gonna look at the low of the uh, low of the range or low of this uh, this guy here, low of the support, which is this guy here. So you know, overall, we are in. Uh, 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 we can get in a pullback mode very soon, you know, like, which can be either uh, uh, following week or the uh, uh, or, or the next week. Let's see here. The four hour. Let's look at that. So you know, if you look at that, you know, four hour chart for my for for me, the four hour chart is the most important chart, which gives us a very very clear picture. You know, like you can see over here, we can see the tails. This is very 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 clear. And right now, if we open above this, then we'll poke through this. And then see the pullback or or something like that so right now this trend line this black trend line let me do that this black trend line is very important after the open of the day because then we will only be looking at the US hour and you know then we'll see you know like if we break this trend line here and that means we are going for down if we did not break this trend line that means it's going to be something like this tail here which we poked through and go for the next leg up similar way here we poke through and come down and here we can go for the next leg up and this extended trend line will go this is how it is you know right now so uh, uh, let's see it's 7 30 right now um, at least couple of hours you know uh, at least hour hour and a half I'll see how the price action reacts over here and then go from there let's go to our I am mean, this target here which is 1983 you know like we had it from here you know this was this was like that the other day when I was trading you know like and we saw we saw all these tails here you know like uh, uh, this tail this tail this tail this tail this was our second entry from this second entry you know we saw a buying 
this was a, a, a second entry breakout pullback as a, that means this is push one this is push two this is push three and then we see this you know this kind of pushes you know this kind of a price action I mean honestly we are looking for this kind of a price action to make our living we do not want to see this kind of a price action and then say okay now I think we are always in bull we're always in bull trend and let's see what happened and you see this blue trend line we have this blue trend line from way long you know like at least from a week or week and a half you know and we start uh, trading around this price action around this trend line for this area and then we go ahead we we make our resistance here we we failed here you know like bulls failed here and then bulls failed here this was the shot for me you know like this was from this candle here you know the breakout from this blue line this candle this was a shot for good good five or six points you know like this was this was a shot and this was a buy you know you see we are getting tails here this was a breakout let me draw a trend line for you I mean did I trade this I did not but you know like what I'm trying to share is that these kind of setups we look at every day and you know like these are the trend lines which make a lot of meaning that's why we have different kind of a trend lines you know this is blue this is red the dots are different you know like this is black trend line so you know we should have the overall bigger picture to look at the market to understand the market that how we are trading you know where uh, this was the high of the channel you know this was for any reason this was a buy 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 with the stop at this was a buy with the stop below we poke through this this was a shot then this becomes shot we might have lost some money here but most of the times one two three four four times we would have made good money and this small loss would have given us a chance to short the market again so basically these trend lines we need to uh, we need to make sure we need to understand that how price is uh, reacting or acting over there you know like we need to make money around these trend lines mostly whenever the price goes near the trend line i buy you know if it goes on the high of the trend line i shot you know with the stop just couple of ticks above you know will i be will i be wrong yes there will be a time when the breakout will be successful and i will be wrong but most of the times like you see here you see here you see here most of the times the traders win and they make most money and and and, and in last trade when they are wrong they lose a little bit of a money but they can still make a lot of money by buying all those pullbacks before Thank you guys. I hope you all do good today and I'll share my, my trades or a few setups on Twitter and see you around there. Bye-bye.